Good Monday afternoon, July 31st, 2017, in the first edition of Talking Fitchburg at noon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. That's all I have to say. All right, show over. Hello, everybody. Let's get out of here. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I certainly did. Got some relaxation in. Perfect weather out there. And now we've moved to our brand new time starting 12 p.m. Monday through Friday, right here. Right, right here. Right here. Yep, this is where it is. Boom. This is where it happens. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still Andrew. We Hello. didn't replace him. Hey, now. Not yet. Still here. Did you, get, did you add a light back there? Uh, I heard you tweaking with things. I was trying, and no. No. <laughs> no. no. We'll no. work on that. No changes. Later. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have some sun back here. Maybe by the next time we switch this time, you'll have it figured out. Maybe. Maybe. We're not going to switch it. No more switching? No. no. no Doesn't more. get any later? Doesn't. Can't. Can't? It's impossible. Uh, well, I was thinking it's maybe impossible. I do the morning, you do the afternoon. No, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. So. I'm all right. You're feeling this? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. How was your uh, vacay? Did you get to do some relaxation? No. No relaxation was had whatsoever. Well, that's... Yeah, the vacation was interrupted, so, you know, life. Life. It's a mystery, isn't it? You can't never plan for it. That's the thing. You can never plan for life. Mm -hmm. Just continues to evolve and do its thing. And of course, you know, you plan for vacations and sometimes it ends up being more work than relaxation. You know what I mean? Just goes that way sometimes. Bummer. Hey, you know what? Still enjoyed it. We missed you here at the Still show. Still enjoyed it. I've got to say. Well, we missed you here. <laughs> we thought you were relaxing, so we were oh, no. all like, man, no, no. I wish we could be relaxing, but yeah. Yeah, I wish happen. that too, you know? We all wish. We all have wishes and dreams. Uh, all right. Well, uh, let's uh, kick this nooner off by telling you what's coming up on the show today. Let's do it. All right. Uh, we'll get you updated on uh, your headlines uh, for today and going into this week. Uh, busy week coming up uh, for local events here in the city. A lot of stuff's wrapping up. It's mm -hmm. getting to the end of the summer. Don't want to say that too, too loud, but yeah. Fitchburg Digest, we got you updated. We do it every Monday here. It's Verona Road construction update and your Lacey Road construction update. Nice. Uh, get you updated there. New item in there, by the way, this week. So get excited. Drum roll. Brum. And uh, then we're going to go out to our friends at the Consumer Protection. We're going to talk a little bit about back to school. Oh, ho, ho. it's that time of year. Yeah, it is that time of year. We want to watch out for scams along oh, the way. Oh boy. Then uh, wrap up with uh, your national headlines and maybe this day in Wisconsin history. Okay, so, I have a history fact for you. You want to hear it right now? Sure, hit you me. You know what happened on this day in 1996? Hit me. The Kurt Angle. Maybe some people know him from the WWE, I was WWF. Say. Of course, as a real wrestler, uh, too. So in this day in 1996, was wrestling in the Atlanta Olympics, took gold medal in freestyle wrestling with a broken neck. <laughs> what a champ! <laughs> so congratulations, shout out to Kurt Angle out there. I would have never guessed you had that uh, info. You know, I got a little surprises every now and then. Wow. So there you go. That is your surprise for this yeah. noon hour. Broken Our neck, did it? Let's get it started, and we're going to start off with the Crime Prevention Picnic. Yeah, Fitchburg Police Department have their uh, annual uh, Crime Prevention Picnic this Saturday. Uh, it'll be the 5th. It starts uh, at noon and goes till 3 p.m. over at McKee Farms Park. Of course, there'll be pub uh, plenty of public safety displays out there for you, and enjoy refreshments. And, uh, yeah, just uh, get it out there. Say hi to... Uh, to that public safety group uh, uh, with uh, this surrounding the Fitchburg Police Department. Right. Say hi to the public safety officials. Say bye to crime. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> crime. I took a bite out of it. I love it. I love it. It's a good event. We'll be out there. You should be out there, too. Let's stick on public safety. Uh, there is a neighborhood public forum going on soon. So the Highlands of Seminole Neighborhood Association will be holding a forum with the Fitchburg Police Department to discuss recent issues related to crime. 
So they say here, please join this discussion with your elected officials, uh, Mayor Jason Gonzalez, Alders Julia Rata Frata and Dan Barr will all be there. This is on Thursday, August 24th at 7 p.m. It's gonna be at the Fitch Republic Library. Uh, if you'd like to contact the officials, uh, you have their email addresses listed there. Uh, on the screen for you. That's uh, again Jason Gonzalez, Daniel Barr, and then Julia Rata Frata. Uh, obviously, important discussion going to be had there. So, if you have uh, input or just like to hear what other people have to say, go on out and uh, see what they have going on. Check yeah, it out. and of course, uh, right here at Fact TV, we'll be covering this event. So, if you miss it, we'll cover for you, and you can uh, check it out here uh, when that time comes. Indeed. All right, moving forward here with headlines this morning, Dane County Drainage Board meeting notice. Yeah, that's right, uh, this uh, is your notice for uh, drainage districts 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16, 21, 22, 25, 27, 28, and don't forget, 29. The, okay. Dane, <laughs> yeah, the Dane County Drainage District Board has their public meeting scheduled on uh, August 29th at 6.30 p.m. It'll be at the Bristol Town Hall, 7747 County Road N in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the right to inspect the project documents related to any agenda item before you head to their public meeting. By the way, if you're wondering where these are at, it's right on the main website right now, so you can go check that out uh, at your convenience, FitchburgWI.gov, right there under news, and it'll give you uh again uh what they'll be talking about uh here at this meeting uh as it comes about cool let's move over to some fun news reminder the fourth annual kicking it for kids charity kickball tournament is just around the corner now it's gonna be taking place august 19th from 10 a.m to 8 p.m up there at uh, good old mcgaw park so throughout the day, they're going to have local businesses that are going to compete in a double elimination tournament, kickball tournament. Then the event uh, opens up to the public beginning at 1 p.m. And then while the teams and players are kind of hanging out waiting for their game, there's going to be, you know, bounce houses, uh, bean bags, volleyball. There's going to have a DJ, all kinds of fun stuff for the kids to do, including mascots will be there. Yeah, and then throughout the day, they'll, of course, have uh, concessions, team registration, and then they'll, uh, you can also donate money, and there's a 50-50 uh, raffle, I do believe, as well. So check it out. Great event. We'll be up there for this as well. Uh, fun. It's all day. And uh, Mega Park, sweet. So check it out. It's going to be a fun event, and it seems like it's growing uh, as the weeks go on with different yep. events and uh, stuff happening there. So uh, something to look forward to. All right, another uh, date to mark your calendar for, uh, and this is called the Puppy Playdate Fundraiser. That's hey right, August 13th at 1 uh, p.m. over at Wisconsin Brewery Company, the Fitchburg Dog Park. Remember those guys? I do. Yeah, they're going to be hosting this event. So they say here, enjoy a pint with your leashed pet on the patio of the Puppy Playdate Fundraiser. Your attendance helps support the new Fitchburg Dog Park, social and leash dogs welcome with their humans to enjoy Let's Eat Out food, activities, and games, the opportunity to meet adorable dogs and win prizes and treats galore. $5 suggested donation. They hope to see you there again August 13th, 1 to 4 p.m. at Wisconsin Brewing Company. Good stuff. It is really good stuff. All right. And to wrap up this morning, Preston, mm. let's give you the... Uh, I don't know, tornado count? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> National Weather Service putting this out uh, this weekend, uh, and uh, this was as of Saturday, but I don't believe there were any uh, tornadoes uh, over the weekend. But uh, right now, tornadoes, 22 tornadoes in Wisconsin so far this year. The annual average that you may be asking is 23 for mm. the year. Mm. Mm. We've already seen 22, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell from all the spots on there, but there's a lot of green dots all over. I like that they circled the one area because that was one day yeah. worth of tornadoes there. Ten of them. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the longest tornado path uh, in history, if I remember correctly, is that EF3 uh, in northwest Wisconsin that unfortunately had the fatality, mm. uh, but that crossed several uh, counties. Yeah. Uh, and you can see that one there on May 16th. Still recovery is still happening up there. So just crazy to think that you average 23 and yeah. you're already <laughs> But way in past. fairness, right, we're getting towards the end of that season. I mean, you don't really expect to see tornadoes in December, right? So we're already kind of getting into the, the big part of the year where this might happen. So Yeah, it, uh, I haven't looked this date up in a while, but the peak season used to be like, uh, uh, excuse me, I think it was like the end of April, May, June are like your most... The big months. Yeah, but May sure. and June, like if you're going to go on a tornado uh, alley chase or something, mm -hmm. those are the times you want mm. to do it because they were the peak. 
yeah so hopefully no more for the rest of the year yeah so that that's it that's, that's all it I know. that is your headlines this afternoon that's going to take a while for me to get used to not oh, saying absolutely. this morning <laughs> it's going to be tough but uh before we go to break we need to tell you about this week's meetings we'll be right back this is talking fitchburg